Hey, I'm Janae, this is Junivy Studio, and today, let's finish a painting. This is the painting in question. This is where we last left off. I personally struggle very much with finishing paintings. So today, I am focusing on three main things. One, contrast and value. Two, not overworking it. And three, staying focused on resolution. With that, let's jump in. Struggling with finishing projects isn't a new thing for me. Starting a new project is filled with exciting and inspiring energy. Anything is possible and I am infinite. But as the painting comes to life, it becomes less about exploring and more about refining. And typically, this is when I start to lose interest. It can feel like starting a project is the love and light where finishing a project is the shadow work. And it sucks because you need both. That's why I'm trying to stay focused this time. I need to increase the contrast and refine the value scale. I want bright lights and dark shadows, and I want it to feel warm and inviting. I am also focusing on not overworking it. I wanna keep my brushstrokes playful and energetic, and I don't wanna to get too zoned in to tight details. I want to enjoy the process and focus on the resolution of visual problems. So we need more, more contrast through here. It probably even needs a little bit more brightness through here because that's kind of like through the trees, right? You know, same thing through here, so. Sometimes continuing to work causes more problems. <laughs> I just had the urge to go like this <laughs> to undo. <laughs> Sometimes you're going along and realize you've made a mistake. This can feel overwhelming if you're thinking, there's no coming back from this. But take a deep breath, because chances are you can still make something amazing. Resolving visual problems is a tricky thing, and it plays a close game against overworking. One way I try to prevent overworking is by not working on the same spot for too long. I decide what the goal of the next segment is and focus on that. Oftentimes, as I'm working, the goal shifts slightly since the painting is changing. Like, I'll decide, okay, now we're going to lighten the sky. But then, I need to increase the glow of the light and lightly blend it once the brightness is there. It's like I have to adjust the whole painting since I'm essentially making changes to the light source. Once I feel satisfied, I move on. In this case, I moved on to creating a general sense of chaos in the foreground of plants, twigs, stems, and rocks, all the while paying attention to contrast and color and trying to increase the depth. Overworking is also easier to avoid since I'm working with acrylics. That's why I jump around to different areas of the painting so layers have a chance to dry and I can go back and work right on top of them. But overworking is still possible, and it is a line that you have to find within your own practice. Comment below, do you struggle with overworking? And how do you find that balance? For me and my style, overworking is something I'm balancing with the play and intuition of my creativity. This is where we are now. As a reminder, this is where we started. Where we are now, where we started. Nice. Today is Thursday. Thursdays are kind of like my first day where I'm just like, oh, I have nothing to do today. How lovely, how wonderful. And I want to spend it doing absolutely nothing. So um, even though that's not true, I'm still editing. 
the previous video and uh, I don't want to lose momentum on this piece though like it feels like it's really close and I don't want to lose that momentum I'm still in love with it and I think that's the key is to continue working on it and hopefully finish it within the realm of me being in love with it like if I'm still in love with it and feel like I still kind of want to work on it that's probably a good time to stop like once it gets to the point of being resolved right because obviously there are still things need resolution These little cobblestones kind of forming in the foreground here. I love them, but they need a little bit more, more work. These plants just need a little bit more refinement. And same thing here. I feel like the tree gets a little lost right in here. Um, I also think that the tree needs a little highlight right along this edge to really pull it out from this background area. Hmm. And it's interesting because I know in my last video I said that I tend to go too far in the direction of realism, or at least that's how I'd been feeling about my work and I didn't want to do that anymore, or at least not with this piece. But I don't know, again, I want to be really careful about overworking it because I feel like I do that almost every single time. So I don't want to do that this time. So wish me luck. <laughs> Part of the reason I avoid finishing projects is because it no longer feels exploratory and instead feels restricted. To combat that, I try to incorporate play in the later stages of the process. That can look like adding pops of bright and saturated colors or unexpected mark making. Usually though, the play at the end of a painting is still focused around a goal, like connecting different parts of the painting, improving the composition, or simplifying an area. As I went through this painting process, it became clear to me why in the past I've pushed my paintings to look more realistic. Part of the reason is that I feel more recognizable work is more digestible to more people. And when you're a creative entrepreneur, you might want to think about making things that people will like. I didn't want my work to be too weird in the fear that those pieces wouldn't be well received. That's part of the reason, but a big part of the reason is that my work is borderline abstract, and when it's abstract, visual problems are a little different. It becomes more about the composition, the way the eyes read the painting, and what the goal of the painting really is. Sometimes I get stuck in thinking the goal of the painting is to look like a place you could be, and what that translates to in my mind is that it needs to be hyper-realistic. The problem with that is that hyperrealism isn't really my strong suit, and in the quest towards something that looks realistic, I end up completely overworking a piece, getting incredibly frustrated, and I never pick up that painting again. So to stay out of that, I am reminding myself that what I'm trying to create is a feeling. I want to invite you into the present moment, encourage you to take a deep breath in and savor how great it feels to breathe. To remember that the problems you're facing have solutions, and the best way to access those solutions is to feel better about your present moment. The present is where you create, the future gets created and becomes your present moment. Everything outside of this moment is a thought or a feeling, and everything in this moment is susceptible to how you feel about it. So if you can find a way to feel better, you're going to find opportunities for solutions that you wouldn't have found otherwise. By remembering that what I'm creating is a feeling, I can free myself from the shackles of thinking hyper-realistic images are the only way for people to connect to artwork. Art is amazing precisely because of its enigmatic nature. It's a mystery how it forms, how it's finished, and how other people find meaning in it. It's a joy and a pain like anything in life. My style will naturally evolve and improve, and the more I paint, the better it all gets. Perhaps I could work towards refining my skill with realism, but I will always stay connected to the messy, energetic chaos that is the foundation of my style. And even though this is a feel-good sentiment that came out of my painting process, 
Finishing a painting is not all fun times and revelations. I was starting to have a hard time feeling like I wasn't making progress fast enough. This is a layered issue that intersects with impatience and pressure and capitalism, but nevertheless, I was getting frustrated with how slowly I was progressing. And now I was struggling with the painting too. I could tell the foreground needed some kind of resolution, but I wasn't sure what it was. I started to get really zoned in on the details of the foreground and wanting it to look like you could pick up one of the plants. Again, I remembered that wasn't actually my goal here and I moved on to clear my mind. At this point, I knew I had limited time to finish this piece. I wanted to be done and just needed to focus on solving problems and getting it finished up. I can really feel myself getting antsy because I want to finish this painting. And it's been two and a half weeks of me trying to finish it. And I'd like to be done now. <laughs> um, there's also a feeling of I need to move on to the other projects, which include a couple of mini paintings, some earrings, I used to go long periods without working on a painting, and I think that does a huge disservice to the piece. Taking breaks is good, but come back and finish it. The last part of finishing that is very important is to share it. Share your journey, share the result, share it. Because otherwise you won't extract all of the lessons that this piece has to offer you. Sharing your work gives you the opportunity to see the ways that you'd like to improve your style. Sharing your work also gives others the opportunity to connect to your work. So finish your projects and share them. This world needs more people sharing the projects they are passionate about. I think all that needs to happen is this area is very contrasted against this outer edge. So I want to bring some of that darkness back through here to really connect all of this as path with plants in front of it. That's the goal anyway. I do feel like this path gets lost and right now it's kind of just isolated here. So I want to bring it back. And you may get stuck in thinking that you need to improve something about this particular project so that you can continue to improve. All right, well, this is still an issue. Quite, quite an issue this is. But every project hits a point where you will gain so much more value from finishing, sharing, and starting a new project than obsessing over trying to make this little detail absolutely perfect. So finish your projects, share them, and move on to the next one. Because the more you make, the better it all gets. Well, I feel like the path is done. You know, I like the little sparkles in it, and now... Uh, there's just something to resolve about this area. As you can see, I was deeply struggling with that path. All right, is it done yet? Hmm. In the end, I leaned into my style, I softened my gaze, and I really allowed the painting to be what it was. I think that fixed it. Oh my gosh, is she done? Are we finished? Gosh, almost. I'm not convinced by the horizon right here. So we have this sort of dark desaturated color along the edge of this horizon. I think we need to get a little bit of that far away, slightly desaturated horizon right in there. And like I said, I'm really ready to be done. So I think that once we kind of fix that little horizon thing, I think we're done. And with that, I fell in love with it all over again. I'm really pleased with the way this painting came out.
Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video has inspired you to go finish something that you've been putting off. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below what it is you've been putting off and why. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.